If you've seen footage of astronauts in space, you know that they basically just float in midair. How are they able to do that? Is it some weird side effect of space travel? Something in their food? No, in fact, it doesn't have much to do with the astronauts at all. It's really all about the amazing force of gravity. Now, you know what gravity is. It's the force that pulls objects and people toward Earth. If it didn't exist, there would be nothing to pull you back to the ground when you jump in the air. Imagine that. Thankfully, gravity does exist, and that's because of mass. Mass might not be what you think it is. Mass isn't how much something weighs, but rather how much matter makes up an object. Anything that has mass exerts a gravitational pull, even you. But objects with greater mass have stronger gravitational pull. Since the Earth has more mass than anything for miles and miles around, it exerts a really strong gravitational pull. So even when we jump in the air, we are still pulled back to Earth. The measure of the pull of gravity on an object is the object's weight. So, to sum up, mass causes gravity, gravity causes weight. Now since mass and weight are directly related, a lot of people confuse them and use them interchangeably. That doesn't change the fact that they're completely different measurements with completely different units of measurement. Weight, for example, is usually measured in customary units, ounces, pounds, and tons. Mass is usually measured in metric units, milligrams, grams, kilograms, etc. Now, if you were to weigh your pet elephant Claude here on Earth, you'd find that he weighs about uh, 15,000 pounds. Since one kilogram of mass weighs about 2.2 pounds, you could do some calculations to find that Claude's mass is about 7,000 kilograms. But you couldn't say that Claude weighs 7,000 kilograms. And if you were to take Claude with you on a trip to the moon, you wouldn't be able to use the same calculations to find Claude's mass from his weight. Claude and you both weigh much less on the moon which has about one-sixth the gravitational pull of Earth. But your masses haven't changed at all. You both have just as much matter as you had before. That's why you can't use the same calculations you used on Earth to find Claude's mass on the moon. The relationship between his weight and his mass is different there. Now let's say you and Claude were to get in your spaceship and fly into space. Your weights would change again. Once in deep space, there's no massive object like the Earth close enough to exert a noticeable gravitational pull. And if there isn't any noticeable gravitational pull, there isn't any noticeable weight. Which means that in deep space, both you and Claude weigh exactly the same. Nothing didn't know you could weigh as much as an elephant, did you? But don't worry, you'll never have as much mass as Claude, no matter where you are in the universe. 